Be Out of Garage. In this build series, we're going to make the most budget-friendly 500 all-wheel horsepower B5S4 that we can. And we're going to do it with the help of excess power. So make sure to watch the entire series and see if we can do it. So first, let's talk a little bit about the car and the engine that we're going to be using. We're going to be building my personal B5S4. Currently, it has just about every imaginable Stage 2, Stage 2 bolt-on. Probably making about 250 to 300 horsepower at the wheels. The engine is bone stock from the connecting rods to the valve springs. We're not going to change that. As far as fueling, in Ontario, we're lucky enough to have 94 octane readily available at the pumps. For this build, I will be using a water meth kit to help achieve our goals. My idea behind this build was to make it as relatable, realistic, and achievable for anyone out there to do. The biggest difference that you might run into on your build will be the available fuel options. While you might not have 94 octane, unfortunately you might be stuck with some pretty lousy 91 octane gas or you might be lucky enough to have E85. So with our fueling choice, it should be a good solid middle ground to kind of understand where you're going to end up. Now that we know what we're working with, let's start talking about all the parts that Excess Power has sent us for this build. So to start off, let's talk about the most important part on this table and on our build, and if that's going to be our turbo choice. Excess Power has sent us their RS6 XLB Hybrid. This is nearly identical to the popular JHM RS6 RS and the Project B5 RS6 X turbos. It's also very similar, but not identical, to the SRM K24 Hybrid. All of these turbo choices that I just listed should be capable of around the same power that we're going to make here. The XS Power Turbo just happens to be the cheapest, most readily available option out there right now. The turbo comes with a coated compressor housing, but an uncoated CHRA and exhaust housing. You can easily bring the turbo to get it coated at the shop of your choice after you purchase it. The wastegates that come attached to these turbos are your standard KO3, KO4 replica. Make sure to keep up to date with these videos because we're working on a solution to upgrade that wastegate and that'll definitely be a huge help with this build. When you purchase the XLB Hybrid Turbo, it also comes shipped with a Hitachi MAF housing. This is a simple and effective piece and it's nice that it comes with a kit. The next item on the table is probably one of the newest excess power offerings for the B5S4 platform and it's their updated, super thick, tubular manifold. Usually these manifolds are surrounded by tons of assumptions and theories in the community. Basically, this manifold is going to be installed and this car is going to be pushed to its limit. So we'll see if it works right off the bat and I'll definitely keep you guys updated with its longevity. If it cracks, you'll definitely know. If it doesn't, you'll probably know as well. Next, we probably have the most popular part on the XS Power lineup, that being their downpipes for the 2.7. For most of the popular builds, a three inch taper to two and a half inch downpipe definitely fits the build. There's no need for a full three inch pipe and these are easier to fit. Usually they come uncoated, but they were nice enough to send us one of the black ceramic coated sets that they have in stock. These come with great sealing V-band flanges with the inner lip to prevent any leaks, as well as good quality flex pipes. Next, we have the oversized excess power inlets. These are must-haves for the RS6 hybrid style turbos with the larger inlet. They do come with a slip-on style KO4 O-ring seal. My preference and my recommendation is to always cut that off and use a coupler with heat wrap to secure it to the inlet. The inlet kit does come with a variety of couplers, a ton of clamps, as well as a turbo install kit. I don't recommend using the fire rings or the crush washers included in the kit, but if you check out our website, we will have available an upgraded turbo install kit that will add the few extra pieces that you need at a good price. And last but not least on the table, we have one of their diverter valves. So obviously we do have two of these for the 2.7. They do come with three springs, the highest rated at 30 PSI, which is gonna be perfect for our application. If these can hold 30 PSI, and perform, this is a great budget option for an upgraded diverter valve. Everything you see here on this table is available on the JAE website. And for the week period after this video releases, you can use the promo code U2 to save 5% on your order. So make sure to check out the links in the description to use that code and get yourself some awesome parts. So aside from this awesome selection of parts that Excess Power sent us, I also have their intercoolers and their twin two exhaust. I'm personally a huge fan of the Excess Power twin exhausts. Whether it be a twin one on a 2.7 or the twin two on a 4.2 swap, they always sound great. You definitely can't go wrong for the price and the sound. A few other items that we're going to be using that are on display right now are 630cc injectors, a Walboro 450 fuel pump, 034 bipipes with meth bungs, and as usual, Christian from Dominate Performance Tuning will be dialing in the car to make the most power possible on the dyno. So I know this video might not be too exciting for you guys, but here's where I really want you to chime in. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations or ideas that you think could improve the build, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if it seems like a good idea, I'll definitely take it into consideration and who knows, we might even do it. 
Also, if you just have any questions or need clarification on the products we're using, leave me a comment or shoot me an email via the website. I'll be happy to help you guys out. So again, make sure to subscribe to check out this whole build in its entirety and see if we can achieve our goal of 500 wheel horsepower. Leave a like, leave a comment, and until the next one, I'll see you guys soon.